I work on the Luke Hoffman Urban Footprint Reduction Project. And what we are trying to do is, we're trying to find the optimum pathways for footprint reduction in cities. Urban stresses are going to be, in the future, I think one of the major, if not the primary cause of biodiversity loss. So we obviously have a need to get um, uh, urban development and urban growth right so that we can look at conservation both in the cities, so integrated within the human habitat, but also around the cities uh, and conservation in areas which are affected by human populations. The field of urban development in itself is a very complex and a very broad field because cities are essentially how human beings organize their life, their social life and also their individual lives. We are trying to look at urban footprint, so we look at all types of human activity um, that can be related to food, it can be related to water, uh, it can be related to energy directly and all human activity leaves some sort of footprint. We don't talk to cities specifically about conservation. We don't talk to cities a lot about nature. I mean, there are a lot of projects that are related to nature. There are parks, you know, there are green spaces that are being created, but they're just one of the, the many different types of projects that cities are doing. Um, so there's not a very direct connection, but um, because we are looking at this currency of measuring human activity, uh, we are essentially studying our footprint on nature in general. Um, and uh, if we can reduce that, then um, uh, we are moving towards finding a way to integrating our lifestyles more um, into, the, um, into the natural sphere. I think we'll have to expand the scope of conservation practice. I think it's still limited uh, in many ways to protected areas or, you know, um, habitat loss in specific uh, areas. And I think uh, we'll have to think about uh, rewilding our cities and we have to start thinking about how um, a human habitat can, uh, even in a place-based context, coexist with nature. I think there's this philosophical ev evolution uh, in the conceptualization of what conservation means and um, why we are doing it and to start with. And of course, then that is what informs um, what conservation translates into, whether we are doing it to protect nature for itself, whether it's uh, um, nature for human beings and for the benefit of human beings or whether it's a, a symbiosis between people and nature and that has to exist in order for human beings to have healthy lives. Our imprint, imprint on, uh, on the environment and our imprint on the earth must not look like as if it's something alien in, in the general context of what what Earth is, and as long as it stands as that something alien, you know that sort of concrete, um, you know, uh, carcinoma in the middle of life. As long as it, it remains that, uh, we will continue to have our civilization will continue to be unsustainable. We can see the the sort of groundwork being laid for really consequential work coming out of Luke Hoffman Institute. I'm really proud to be associated with that name and it's because of the people that I'm working with, it's because of the heritage that that, that, that their name bring, brings with it. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I think it's been a great opportunity for me.